folks, Joe Lang here. I actually got Chad's bow. <laughs> a bow tech. What model is this? Revolt, Revolt X. X. Brand new bow. Uh, we didn't intend on bow hunting, but uh, well, we knew the opportunity might arise, but right now we've been stalking a, a Shimitar Oryx cow, and uh, she's been giving us the slip. We've been after her for hours now, and uh, trying to ambush her and stuff like this, and she's winded us once, went the other way another time, so here we are. We're gonna sit and wait. We're at this gate. There's a cattle gate pass through, similar like you would hunt uh, pronghorns or whatever. So, team meet in the freezer. We're at it. Got the Revolt X. We're here in Texas, trying to get it done with a Shimitar Oryx. Come along with us. Oh, really? Being part of the tree. Sparse cover, be part of the tree, trust me. Oh, oh you had her way back. Mm -mm. It's core. Oh, is it core? Oh, look at the blood. All right, folks, we got our arrow in the orcs. See meat in the freezer here. Joe Lang, Chad's on the camera. We got an arrow in the orcs. It was a steep corner away shot. Probably a 25, 30 yard shot. If you look over yonder over my shoulder, maybe 140 yards away, maybe, something like that. That's the tree we had stalked up and got behind. Got the shot on the orcs. She come across and bedded down right over by this tree and we watched her head go down a few minutes later. So she's down, come along with us. We're gonna take a peek, Let's see what we got. Watch out for the horns if she ain't dead yet. Ooh, she's down, baby. <laughs> the old Bowtech. She has a new rig. Brand new this year, the Revolt X, right? Yep. Revolt X. Put it on her. Rage Hypodermic. Come on around and uh, let's check her out. I'm not going to be able to lift her from this side. All right, here, hold on. I'll all right, folks, here we are, Scimitar Oryx, South Texas, getting it done, the old Bowtech. It's a big animal. You're supposed to be very good eating. This is actually a female. It's an old cow Oryx, and uh, there's a standing population of them now in the state of Texas. I'd like to thank Chad for letting me use his bow and his release. We shot it in practice. That's the first time I've shot a compound bow in a couple of years. But uh, I mean, I'm sorry, we shot the bow at launch and got it going. So anyway, it's gonna be some good eating here. We're gonna share some meat with some disabled vets, families back home in Georgia. And uh, it's a beautiful animal. It's a memory that will last a lifetime. So, y'all, make sure you thank a veteran for his or her service. Get them outdoors with you. Take a kid, a newcomer, it doesn't matter. Stop bashing one another for the equipment you use. Get out there and enjoy God's creation. Put the meat to good use. And just like our name, it is.
meat in the freezer. See you in the field. We love you. Well, no way. We can kill. Watch me come with us on world adventures. Anyways, so, folks, we are headed back to MIF Farms in Georgia. Probably gonna get a little less gas mileage on the way home because we have coolers, I'm gonna say it again, coolers full of some delicious meat from God's grocery store in the back of the truck. We were talking earlier, I think we, what did we knock? Seven species off our list on this adventure? Seven new species. We had a white-winged dove, Eurasian dove, Havelina, Ibex, Owdad, Axis, and an Oryx that Joe shot with my bow, by the way. So, it was a very good trip for Team MIF. We did what we do, checked out some, uh, some really quality hunting places down here in South Texas. Now it's time to get back home, unpack, take care of all this meat. And unfortunately, we gotta go back to this thing called work. We haven't figured out how to get away without doing that yet, but sooner or later we might. Yeah, if y'all figure it out, put it in the comment section below. Yeah, please do. Cause it just, in, it gets in the way of hunting and fishing. It's a real inconvenience. Inconvenience, it gets in the way. So, hope you enjoyed all this video footage. We got some real good action. We got a lot of editing to do. Come along with us for our next one. This is our view for the next 16 hours.